In this video, we're going to take a look at a problem from Amy 2015. To solve the above equations x to the power 4 times y to the power 5 plus x to the power 5 times y to the power 4 equals 810 and x cubed times y to the power 6 plus x to the power 6 times y cubed equals 945. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications. So I will factorize both equations. For the first equation, I'm going to get x to the power 4 times y to the power 4. This is the common factor. All multiplied by x plus y, which equals to 810. While for the second equation, after factorizing, I will get x cubed times y cubed times x cubed plus y cubed equals 945, which is that just a common factor, but after looking at the sum of two cubes, I can get x cubed times y cubed times x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared equals 945. And when we look at these two equations, we know that x and, x and y will not be zero because if x is zero, either x or y is zero, then both um, the left hand side of both equations will become zero. So that's um, impossible. Now, if x and y cannot be zero, then we can divide the two equations so that we won't omit anything. Then dividing, I'll get xy over x squared minus xy plus y squared. We are looking at these two equations. So after dividing, I will have x y at the top and at the bottom, I will have x squared minus xy plus y squared. And that should equal to 810 over 945. And after simplifying, I should get 6 over 7. So it becomes a much neater equation and a quadratic one. So I am removing all, all the denominators. And I'll get 6x squared minus 13 xy plus 6y squared equals 0. So from this we can factorize 2x minus 3y times 3x minus 2y equals 0. And so that means I have x over y equal to either 3 over 2 or 2 over 3. So I've got the ratio for um, x and, between x and y. Now, to solve for x and y, I'm going to rewrite that as y equals to either 3 over 2x or 2 over 3x. So let's divide into cases. So if y equals 3 over 2x, then we put that back into, the, uh, into both equations. I'll get um, x to the 4 times 3 over 2 x all to the power 5 plus x to the power 5 times 3 over 2 x all to the power 4 equals 810. So you can see that I have um, x to the power 9 on both terms of the left hand side. So x to the power 9 times 2 4 3 over 32 plus 81 over 16 equals 810. So now we can simplify um, the fractions. 405 equals 810, so x to the power 9 equals 64, and so notice that 64 is actually 2 to the power 6, and so uh, removing the powers, we can get x equals to um, 2 to the power 2 thirds, and so therefore, in this case, y equals to 3 over 2 times 2 to the power 2 thirds, and so we have 3 times 2 to the power minus 1 third. And so that's the solution for y. Now for the second case, if y equals 2 over 3 times x, then using a similar argument, I'm going to say that x to the power 9 times 32 over 243, which is actually 
um, just two thirds all to the power five. And then add it by 16 over 81. Two thirds all to the power four equals 810. Then x to the power nine times 80 over 243 equals 810. So h of x to the power 9 equals 81 times 243 over 8. Now notice that for 81 is 3 to the power 4, while 243 is 3 to the power 5. So we have 3 to the power 9 at the top and 8 at the bottom. So x is equal to 3 times, well for 8 I'm going to rewrite that as 2 cubed, so it's easier to see. Then x will be equal to 3 times 2 to the power minus 1 over 3, which is um, the same as what we got for the y in the first case. This is, this is normal because, in fact, by reversing the ratio, we are actually just uh, reversing the order of x and y. So we can quickly say that y is therefore equal to 2 to the power 2 thirds. So here are our solutions. The solution pairs are 2 to the power 2 thirds, 3 times 2 to the power minus 1 over 3, or it's re um, the number is reversed. And these are the real solutions to this system of equations.